Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize your My Account page for WooCommerce from this to something like this, which have a nice buttons layout and if you click each link, then it will show you the that relevant page. For example, that orders, when you click on downloads, it will be downloads here and similar to all these links. So uh, this is a quite a basic page which comes with WooCommerce default installation. So uh, I'll show you how to turn this into this. For this, uh, you have to uh, install Elementor. Uh, you can use free version or pro version. Uh, it will work on both of them. And um, pretty much you can use uh, any page builder after watching this video. So uh, I have uh, Elementor installed now. So first of all, I'll turn this page uh, and edit with Elementor, edit page in a new tab. Here you will see the my account short code, copy this and click on edit with Elementor. Now as you can see the template is uh, having a sidebar and a main area. So first of all click on this setting tab and change page layout from default to Elementor Canvas or Elementor Full Width. Uh, what is the difference between Full Width and Canvas that you will uh, see menu in one in uh, Full Width but uh, there will be no menu in Canvas mode. So Full Width will be selected, click on update. Now you can see that there is no sidebar here. So we will edit this, delete this uh, row first of all, and then add a new row with single column and add a short code. Short code within this area and paste that short code which we copied from the page and click on apply. Now you can see that this is still the default form uh, of uh, this WooCommerce page, my account page. So uh, we will add a new row with one column layout and drag it to the top of the page and we will add some title heading to the page for giving it a beautiful look my account and centerize it now click on the whole row and set padding until you satisfy maybe 60 will be enough or you can just give it 100 and choose a background and the text color will be white so you can see it and turn from H2 to H1. Now open this current page for a reference in a new tab. For example, I already opened this in this new tab and uh, we will need these links to put on the new buttons we will create just now. Uh, add a new row below the my account uh, banner and choose how how much buttons you want to use for example if we put four buttons then this layout will work but we will add five buttons and add some margins to the left and right of the this column this row
unlink and do not give uh, top and bottom both sides okay now click on add in a single column and add the text for example I'll use orders we will use all these text orders downloads addresses account details and logout for all these five buttons so orders and make it center use the p tag or H6 whichever suits the best okay orders and now we will add an icon above the orders text and choose the right icon for orders now uh, change the background for this column so it will be visible on uh, either this background or this white background so click on this column edit column button and then style and for background click on color and choose a color which is slightly lighter than this one and darker than the whole background now change the color for icon and text to white in my case I'll use white and choose color also white now add some margin to this box because all these boxes will have uh, no spaces between so we will add some margin click on this edit column button and come to advanced and give it margin to 10px so both will be 20px in between okay now click on this icon bag and come to contents again now we open this page for reference copy uh, the link from orders and in this bag paste that link you can paste the link in the orders text as well click on content and paste the URL and click on update now we will replicate this column and delete these empty slots right click and delete delete them one by one and now right click and duplicate these columns repeat the process five times four times so we have five buttons and all the settings are already done for these buttons but all we have to do is to change these icons I'll uh, stop the video to save time click on the icon and for orders or next button will be downloads change the text and then the button to the downloads similarly do this for all these three now that we uh, changed all these buttons let's change the links copy the link for downloads and click on download button and paste the link here and similarly change the text link then click on addresses and copy the addresses link now click on account details and 
last logout. Update the page. Now let's scroll this thing uh, above this section uh, top margin unlink the bottom and top and then give it top margin of minus 60 so it will be on uh, half on this section and half on this now uh, we will hide this column and give this column a hundred percent so after updating the page you will have to open your customizer from here or you can click on appearance and click on customize so I'll use this one because this uh, we are already on this page customizer in the customizer scroll down and click on additional CSS and now we will use the selector for this column right click on this column and see uh, which one is the parent tag so for this link the parent will be ul and this nav so collapse these and for nav click on this section and it will select all this uh, div and this is the class which we have to hide but uh, the best way is from the CSS click on this selector and right click and copy and then paste it here and start the brackets press enter and click uh, type display semicolon none and semicolon okay now you can see that this column is no longer visible but the thing is that next column should be 100% so uh, click on the next column or just right click here click on inspect element and then see the parent click on the parent div and copy this selector and type it here paste it you can also use these same selector because WooCommerce have uh, globally these classes mentioned in each website so you can just type this selector and use it if you do not want to copy them from the inspect element okay now type here width colon 100% and semicolon now you will see that this div is 100% click on publish to apply this CSS to the whole website and now come to the page which we opened for reference and refresh the page refresh the page now the my account page is already uh, been done but all you have to do is change this my new account page as uh, a default page for your WooCommerce so come to your WooCommerce settings page click on advanced and in here change this my account to new my account page which is my account 2 and click on save changes okay after you save changes your this page will be your default my account page and when you click on orders then it will be redirected to the orders page similarly downloads addresses account details and uh, logout as well so uh, that was all for today's video please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future update and it's also uh, good for our channel thank you